Today, I'm going to break down trading for beginner traders. Trading on Royal High is a lot more complex than you think if you are trying to get the most out of your items and diamonds. If you are a beginner, my main tip is to not focus on your dream item first. I know it's exciting when you hit trading level and you may want to go and get the items you want the most, but if you do, you might get ripped off. People in the trading hub tend to take advantage of new players, so you do want to be smart. I recommend covering a level in your journal in the trading hub, otherwise people may see that you're a level 25 and try to take advantage of you and your items. Don't let anyone swindle you out of anything. If you don't know if something is a good trade, don't do it. You want to be 100% certain that what you are trading is worth it. First, let's go over what trading is going to look like when you first get in. When you get into the trading hub, you will always get the screen, but if you are new, there is going to be a lot more information. I would read everything because it's there for a reason. The rundown is basically don't scam obviously and don't trust trade anyone because people will try and scam you. Then it's going to go through two step verification. I would 100% recommend turning this on because it can save your account. It will tell you all the steps, basically just go to your settings on your account, then go to security and turn it on. If a friend has a password, I would change it. Don't trust anyone, especially if you don't know them in real life. You spawn here. If you walk all the way down to the hall, the doors will scan and then open up. When you walk past the doors, usually we'll see people standing around here trading. If not, they might be in the ice cream stand or you might be in a server where everyone is doing a pageant. You can join those, but usually whoever is hosting it will leave and not give you a prize if you win. But sometimes you'll get lucky. Let's get to how to actually trade. If you're looking for certain things, you can just ask if anyone has that item in the chat. And usually if someone is trading it, they will send you a trade request. If you get a trade request and want to accept it, just press the green accept button. If they don't send you a trade request, then send them one by clicking on their avatar, their journal will pop up on your screen, and then you just have to press the trade request button. If a red icon pops on your screen and it says that their trades are disabled, just ask them to turn them back on, or you can just ask them to send you a trade request. If you want to turn off your trade request, go to the YouTube button, scroll all the way down, and then check the disable trade request button. Of course, be nice about everything, otherwise people will get upset with you and most likely won't want to trade with you. If someone is mean to you, I would just close the trade and not trade with them. When the trade is accepted, you will be brought to the trading screen. If you want to cancel the trade, all you have to do is just press the red cancel trade button. You can see all your items to the left of your screen and you can just click on those items to add them to your trade. If you click the wrong item, go to the your offer box and click on the item that you want to remove. All the items in the your offer box will be what you are trading. If you don't want to scroll through all the items, you can search up certain items or you can use the tabs to go to accessories, wings, shoes, and skirts. Down below you can see the chat box. Here you can talk to the person you are trading with. This is kind of like a private chat message because only the person you are trading with can see what you are saying. Of course, like I said before, be nice. You can also see the trade activity box next to the chat box. You can see all the things that they removed. Pay attention to this because people will fill up their offer box and remove items and try to scam you. If they're acting suspicious, do be careful. You can also add diamonds to your trade by clicking on the zero next to the diamond icon and then you can type in however many diamonds you want to offer. If you enter the wrong amount of diamonds, just wait 10 seconds and then try again. Once you like the trade, then you click accept. It will tell you to double check and make sure everything is looking right. Then you press accept again. Then it will bring you to the final trade screen. Here you have to wait 30 seconds and you can double check everything and make sure everything is good. If it doesn't, you can decline. All trades are final and the person you are trading with will more than likely not trade back. So make sure it's something that you want to do. Remember, you always get items back, so it's not a huge deal if you do want that item back. Now let's go over how to learn your values. Values are very important to learn, so you don't overpay for things. You can learn these things over time, or you can ask people the values. Don't ask the person you're trading with, because they will more than likely lie about the values. If you have experienced friends, you could also ask them always get a second opinion. 
social media is also a really good way to get other people's opinions on trades, like TikTok and Twitter. You could just post a poll on Twitter and you will more than likely get a quick response back. If you don't want to do that, I would also recommend Trady. If you don't know how to use Trady, I do have a video about that. With Trady, I would take values with a grain of rice, meaning that these values are usually very expensive and you can usually find things cheaper in the trading hub. That being said, I would never look for items on Trady unless if you're desperate or willing to pay a lot for something. I only really use Trady to sell my items because you can get really good offers or to look for halos a lot faster. Trady is really good to use to get a quick price range, but I wouldn't pay how much people pay for things on Trady. Sometimes you can find a good price, but more than likely you probably won't. I would learn your values before getting any expensive items, so maybe do a few trades with small items and get opinions on those trades. Small items go for a lot less, obviously. So things like the sweet bunny ears and freshwater pearls will be like 1k to 10k diamonds. Set items, heels, or skirts are a little more expensive. So things like the shadow ember seals and December dream bodice will be more like 30 to 60k. Set items, heels, and skirts are items you want to know the value of before you offer for people's items. High demand accessories are a lot more expensive, so things like the moon changing necklace, parasol, large chamber skirt, any of the Halloween purses, and the golf Lita stuff are going to be a lot more expensive. As of right now, they are usually around 100k to 1 million diamonds. When you want a high demand accessory, make sure you know the price. You don't want to get ripped off and pay way too much for those items. Halos are the most expensive. You can find the values of halos using a halo tier list or a tradey. The prices of halos on tradey are usually pretty fair. Halos can be anywhere between 500k to 3 million diamonds, but this is just for now. Halo prices are always changing. If you want to know more about halos, I have a video about everything you should know about halos. I would recommend watching that video once you get into halo trading because it's a lot more complicated than just regular trading. When you're a beginner, I would start off by getting small accessories and then learning your values and grow your inventory. I also have a video about that as well. They will all be linked down in the description and in the cards. Now let's go over some things that may confuse you when you're trading. People use a lot of abbreviated words for items in Royal High. Like the Dear Dolly set can be called the DD set, but there is also a December Dream set that can also be abbreviated as DD. I have all the sets and all the set abbreviations in another video, but things like Large Trimbo Skirt can be abbreviated to LTBS. Here are some things that people will say. NFT means not for trade. LTBS means Large Trimbo Skirt. Val means valentines, NTY means no thank you, springy means spring because when you say springy sometimes it will tag out, W slash F slash L means win, fair, or lose. People will usually ask others this to get an idea if their trade was worth it. People in the trading hub will use abbreviations a lot, especially for items. If you ask them politely, they will usually tell you what it means. Like I said before, being polite is super important and can get you a long way. If you are rude, no one is going to want to trade with you. People take offense when you say hi with the question mark, so don't do that either. Trading is definitely stressful and you will usually always end up doing a bad trade, but if you learn from that trade, at least you get something out of it. Don't stress too much about things. Trading is all about learning and being smart. If anyone has any good advice for beginner traders, leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!